Okay. So here I have charts made and PC editor. I'm gonna right click this, or sorry, first in the tutorial 3 PC editor file, just drag the whole entire folder in there, and it should make its own folder. So after that, you're gonna go to the score hero link, and then let me log out first. Score hero link, and then you're gonna click register to make an account and just type in all your stuff. You don't need uh, anything without an asterisk. So then you're, after that you're gonna log in and up here you should have custom songs now. And you can click browse database to search for a song, artist, album, or an author, and single player and co-op. And lots of other stuff you can play around with that. Uh, or you can have like the most recent, the newest added charts, the like top charts and the most charted songs. Uh, I'm gonna get a Metallica. And if it's yellow, it pretty much just means that it's um, pending a review by Custom Hero. Or was it? yeah, Custom Hero. And if it's green, it's approved by Custom Hero. And difficulties. Um, the first bar will mean for single player. The second will will be for second player and some of them only have expert and some of them have all four some of them only have three etc it all depends on the user the second bar is going to be for second player or like base or whatever so uh, I'm just gonna download die die my darling by Metallica uh, after you have the chart uh, download the file I don't want a premium account. And then you're gonna save the file. If you have Vista, it's gonna save into your downloads folder for Firefox. If you have um, XP, it's gonna save to your desktop. Or just right click over here and click open containing folder. If you have um, Internet Explorer, just save it in a file folder. So now I'm gonna cut that out. Go back in here, my custom songs, chart files. Paste it in there. Okay. Don't need that open anymore. I can delete that. Close that out. Now you're gonna go back and find your um, chart to mid. Open that up. Click run. And if you have Vista, you're going to right click and run as admin or go to properties, click compatibility and run this program as an administrator and click OK. And it should automatically do that for you if you have any errors with this. Uh, I, don't, I haven't had any errors before. So now you can know, browse and wherever you save your chart file into. Okay, now you're going to select the chart you just downloaded, and it should say status file valid. If it's not valid, then it's not a correct chart. And some files may already come in an MID file for you if the author's nice. Uh, after that, you're going to go back into the same folder, and it should have a MID file, and it should have some musical notes next to it. For a video. Now, I'm gonna cut that out it's just to make keep it organized. Save it in my MID files folder. Okay, and now you're gonna go over to. Uh, one second, guys. Uh, sorry about that, guys. So now you're gonna go into your Katario 3 PC editor, and you're gonna search for the song list editor that exe application um, you're gonna right click that and click run as admin or code of properties if you have vista go to compatibility and click run this program as an administrator click ok double click that and please note that this has to be done for vista and do not close out this black command screen uh, or I'll also close this out so now you're gonna go file open or control o 
and then go find your Guitar Hero 3 data. Um, by default, it should be in your computer, C drive, uh, program files for XP, program files x86 for Vista, and there should be a Guitar Hero 3 folder, or it will be under ASPYR, then click data, then just click OK, and I'm going to let this load. There should have, say, checking codes, and then updated unlock all code, and updated unlock songs code, okay? Now, to, you click insert new song, and right here you can make the song name. This cannot have any capitals or spaces, and it'll just appear over here. So, die, die, my darling. And for guitar track, rhythm track, and song track, you're going to use the <coughs> mp3 file and if you don't have the mp3 file or mp3 file like I have currently you're going to go um, somehow get it uh, I use Frostwire uh, and just let this um, however the way you get it I get it like this and I'm not going to make you guys watch this, so I'm just going to pause it for now. Okay, so I got the song, and now I'm going to click Browse again, and then go to where we saved your MP3 files. And you're going to do the exact same song for all three of these boxes. Guitar track, rhythm track, and song track. Okay. And preview position just means um, that whatever you hear when you're like hovering over the song, there's like... Uh, say like slow ride it plays like a couple seconds of slow ride when you put your thing over it and it doesn't really matter what this is I just like to leave it at zero the MIDI file is going to be your MID file also known sometimes as MIDI files so just get that uh, here it is <coughs> now song title is what you're actually going to see in Guitar Hero so you're going to actually want to make this correct artist obviously same thing the year is going to be the year the song came out I don't really care for the year I usually go 2008 whatever click OK and it should be in here just um, uh, if this is not responding that means it's currently doing this you should see this pop up so let this go and then you should say done, 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 and another done over here. And now, to look, you can check in here. It says die, die, my darling. Okay. And now you can click edit set list to actually be able to see your song. Then you can click expert for most, of, um, for all of them. Just click expert, and it should do all the others automatically. Then go to bonus songs, and then. Songs per tier is going to be how many songs you have, so try a new song, click up once. Then song number, go all the way down, and it should be slow ride, always. It should always be slow ride. Now click song, and change it to your song. And this should change to the name of your song, but it should still have the number uh, match up with this number. And then you should click OK. File, save, OK. And now uh, you can watch this go. And it looks like it is done. Now you're going to go over to um, start Guitar Hero. Uh, where's my Guitar Hero folder? I don't like starting it from the CD. It just gives me some kind of errors most of the time. Now. Guitar Hero 3 when you get this error it's um, it's a, it's a good thing uh, the, your game content is not damaged